Mensore. Watashi no namae wa Avery Kinuye des. Mensore is Okinawan for welcome. My name is Kinuye Oshiro Avery. My friends know me as Kiki. A situation related to the base realignment program in Asia specifically involves one base on Okinawa, where 37 bases still exist on this small island. This controversy goes beyond politics. It is the ethical and moral issue we are concerned with. I will be your host for this story that focuses on the Futema MCAS, located in the heart of Genuan City, Okinawa. 60 years ago, 1945, when the U.S. military unleashed a new kind of hell for the Okinawan people, brought on by the empire of Japan. One year ago, this past week, a marine helicopter from Futema, MCAS, crashed into this university, causing major damage.
Well, the damage is being repaired. We can still see the scars of that damage. The charred walls and the burnt trees trying to come back to life just as the Okinawan people. Following the end of World War II, which ended 60 years ago in June 2005. The cause of this accident and at the very center of this controversy is the Fatema MCAS, built in the waning days of World War II when the battle for Okinawa was over and the Japanese defenders were defeated. The Okinawan civilians came out of their hiding only to be placed behind barbed wire and held as possible enemy combatants. While the civilians living in the villages of Futema, Oyama, Ginawan, and others were being detained, the military occupation forces seized their lands. Navy Seabees, with their giant bulldozers, quickly raised the remaining homes, worship sites, and rice fields. A large chain-link fence was erected to close the area to its former inhabitants. When the Okinawan civilians were released from their lengthy stay behind barbed wire enclosures, they found their homes had been turned into the future military base of the Fatema Naval Air Station. This base was designated as one of the launching sites for the anticipated war on Japan's home islands. However, with the dropping of the bombs at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the war came to a quick end. The Okinawan people thought that their lands would be returned to them, but this was not the case. Even though the military already occupied the area, now known as Kadena Air Force Base, which to this day is the largest air base in all of Asia, the Navy and the Marines wanted their own base, so the construction continued on what is today known as the Fatema MCAS. The base was officially completed and dedicated in 1961. Following the Vietnam conflict, the Fatema MCAS continued operating as a training site by the 1st Marine Aircraft Wing. This base occupies 480 hectares, which amounts to over one-fourth of the area of present-day Ginawan City and includes a 2,800 meter long runway. The continual problems with this base have been a lightning rod of emotions for the Okinawan people. President Obama, with the recent elections in Japan, a clear message is sounding that the Japanese people are demanding change just as the American people did prior to your election. All eyes in Japan are focused on Okinawa to see what will now happen with this base. Over 125,000 Okinawan civilians, including members of my own family, died during the World War II. How many more Okinawans have to be sacrificed before this dangerous base is closed? Not moved, closed. My question to the president, who is recognized as the leader of the free world and to the government of Japan is why Okinawa? These are messages from the people 